Okay, I think it's live. We're telling your followers you started a live video. Okay, as people start to get connected. All right. Happy Sunday. Well, here, I'll just get out of the way. My name's Sheridan. I'm going to lead you through a 45 minute flow or around that time. Just, I'm going to challenge you again this week to listen more than watch. So it's easy to kind of pop your neck up and be like, what's going on? It's a little bit tougher, a little bit more challenging to listen, but a lot more beneficial because you get more in kind of in, on the inside. So listen more than you watch. Again, I want to remind you those things that keep you well. You've heard a lot about what keeps you sick or what can get you sick. So those things that help you to maintain wellness, kind of boost your immune system, are sunlight, grounding, good sleep, 8 to 10 hours, movement and connection. So like, share, tag a friend, um, stay connected during this time. It's crucial. But um, this morning, or this afternoon, we're going to get started seating, and we're going to do a breathing exercise known as 478 breathing. So just come into a nice, comfortable, seated position, heavy in your hips, long through your spine. Palms can face up or down. They can come to close, whatever works for you. And all it is is going to be an in count of four seconds through your nose. There's going to be a hold for seven seconds, and there's going to be an exhale through your nose for eight seconds. So quickly, it's just inhale for four, hold for seven, exhale for eight. So everybody begin to soften your eyes to close. I'm going to lead you through six rounds of this kind of um, breathing technique that kind of stills your mind, allows you to deal with stress a little bit more efficiently. So everybody, on your next breath in, we're going to inhale through our nose for one, two, three, four. Hold the breath for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Long exhale, slow controlled for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, second round, inhale, ribs expand, belly expands for three, two, one, hold the breath, you've got seven seconds to hold it, six, five, four, three, two, slow exhale for eight, seven, gently through your nose for five, four, three, Two, one, third round. We're going to take four. Inhale for four, three. Ribs expand, chest expands for two, one. Hold it at the top for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slow, long exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Big inhale. Breath comes in. Fill your body with air. Three, two, one. Hold it. Five, three, two, one. Exhale. You've got eight seconds. Last exhale. Draw it out. Draw it out. Pull the belly in to deflate. Three, two, one. Regular inhale. Breathe in. Let regular exhale breathe out. Good. Blink your eyes open. Just begin to hinge yourself forward. So walk your hands forward to the top of your mat or wherever you are. You don't have to have a mat. The floor works sufficiently. Just begin to rock your hips side to side. Kind of nod your head side to side. See if your third eye center can reach the floor. It probably maybe can't right now. But just begin to soften through your neck. Find that little opening through your hips. Begin to walk your hands back. Just begin to find some windmill type shapes. So reach your arms up and over. Right and left. Find a little rounding through center. Find an opening through the back. 
It might be optimal to switch the cross seat of your legs, so put the opposite shin in front just to promote balance as you begin to move this way. Side to side, forward and back. Just begin to lubricate through the spine, waking things up. Once you feel good there, pause through center. Reach your arms into a low V. You're going to take a neck stretch. So chin in towards your chest. Roll your right ear towards your right shoulder and pause. So just begin to weigh heavy in your neck to the right or the left. I think it's opposite for you guys. Either way works. Kind of pull down through the shoulder a little bit. You can gaze down towards your fingertips to intensify. Breathe. Switch chin to chest, opposite ear, opposite shoulder, pause. Begin to reach further through the opposite hand, draw down through that shoulder. Maybe begin to peek down towards your left fingertips. Keep the nostril breath in and out through the nose. We'll maintain that through this whole time together. Chin to chest, lift your gaze, tabletop. Bring yourself forward, stack your shoulders up over your hips. For some cat cows, lubricating the spine, arch your back, then round in, chin in towards your chest. Move freely so it doesn't just have to look standard, forward and back. You can add in some C curves, sit back in towards your toes, curl your chin in towards your chest. Just begin to move freely around. Roll through your neck one way. And the other way. Yeah. Always get this toe stretch so by curling of under sitting back and towards your toes. And actually we're gonna move into a toe stretch. So from here, keep your toes curled under. Begin to lift up and then actually draw your knees together, your big toes together to sit back. Okay, uncurl your pinkies, pinky toes, so your knees are together, your feet are together. Begin to reach your right arm over your left arm under, so you're in a bind like so. This may not be available, okay, so a towel can kind of make that happen. Okay, Clint, as this happens, his ribs are going to display, he's going to knit his ribs together, and kind of find a gentle nodding back of the head if that feels okay. Maybe he finds a lean up and over to the left, just slightly, just super slight. And release, keep the toe stretch, opposite arm over. So left arm over, right arm under. So avoid the rib sling, step one, then those together. Maybe find a little lean up and over to the right. Breathe. <laughs> Alright, come through center, shake out your arms, come forward, tap the tops of your feet into the floor. Good. From this place, we're going to take some core work, so extend your left leg back as you reach your right arm forward. So it's just opposite arm, opposite leg. Pull the belly in, it's core work. Then every exhale, just begin to take your elbow to your knee. Super simple, elongate on the inhale, contract on the exhale. In and out, in and out, slow control. Super easy, Aspen can probably do it fast. I want you to be more slow, more intentional as you breathe in, get as long as you can, okay? Because this week, most days, we're short, we're sitting. So really breathe in to that length. Get as long as you can. And every exhale, pull the belly in. See if your elbow can touch your knee. Right, take a couple more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, constriction in towards your chest. One more. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out, close. This time, hold the reach. Option to find the back bend. So begin to bend your back knee. Wrap your arm back. See if you can grab for your foot. Good. So pull the belly in. Find a kick. So kick into the hand. Allow the right shoulder to open. Pull the belly in. Breathe. Gently let go. 
side too. Actually find a couple more cat cows. Just begin to loosen things up. Reset through center. Move however you need to. Then you're finding the second side. Okay, so your right leg back, left arm forward, or whatever you didn't do, just begin to move into those crunches in and out. Reach and squeeze. Good. So stability in your core. Good. Really reaching through the fingers. Maybe you flex or point your toe to get longer through your legs. Hips are square and quiet, and the core is just working to pull in and out. Yep, maybe your gaze lifts on the inhale, and maybe it kind of comes down on the exhale if you want to get a little bit deeper. Last one, reach it long, then find the bind. If it's available, you begin to bend the back knee, reach for the back foot. If it's not, no big deal, hold. Knit the ribs, pull the belly in, pause to breathe. Uh, gently let go, downward facing dog, curl your toes under, elevate your hips up and back, stretch. So find your first downward dog this Sunday. See how it feels. Good. We have a little bit of heat in the room, which allows you to go a little bit deeper, warm up a little bit quicker. Okay, but at home, just take the first one nice and easy. As we progress, the muscles will warm. We can get a little bit deeper. You're just feeling this first one out. Good. So some pointers like Clint is doing perfectly. There's a slight bend in his knees. Okay, so we are hyperextending through our joints. Sit bones are lifted, his fingers are spread wide, even though you can't find them or see them. So spread your fingers wide, turn your hands slightly out. Good. And then press a little bit more into your pointer finger, your thumb. Okay, so notice if you tend to roll out on your wrist, that can be um, detrimental over time. Find evenness by rooting into the pointer finger, the thumb. Press firmly. Uh, breathe, pull the belly in. Exhale. We're going to focus on drawing out the exhales. Good. Then find a deeper bend through your knees. So see if your thighs can attach closer towards your torso. Bend your knees. This will call this bear pose. Cleanse bottoms tilting upward more. Bigger bend, a little less from the belly to the thighs. Good. Next inhale, high plank. Bring yourself forward to stack your shoulders over your wrists. You might walk your feet back. Find this first one nice and steady, or maybe you add some movement to just feel it out. We'll hold and breathe. His hands are in that same place, wide, firm base. And then the emphasis on the pointer finger, the thumb, the L, kind of turns on the inner arm a little bit more. If you're prone to hyperextending, I want you to maintain a slight bend. It's going to be a little bit better for longevity for your joints. Take an inhale here, gaze a little bit forward. Take an exhale, bear pose. Come right back into that big bent knee position, belly to thighs. A little bit quicker, inhale, high plank, shoot forward. Exhale, bear pose, bring it back. A few more, reach your heart, breathe in. Exhale, bring it back. Two more, reach. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good, walk your feet forward behind your wrist. Find your first forward fold. Grab opposite elbows, bring your feet wide. Wide and just hang out. Good. A wider stance allows your lower back to have a little bit more space. But it's important to act as if your head is super heavy, maybe curling your chin in a tad to just let the head hang rather than holding it up. Good. That bend in the knees is still there, and your hands never have to touch the floor. Couple breaths, allowing your hamstrings to lengthen, your lower back to lengthen, Lowers you. Then from this place, take a wider stance. So heel toe your feet out. Toes are going to point out. Take your hands towards your 
thighs. You're in like a higher squat. Drop your right shoulder, twist to the left as you find a little sway side to side. Feel your inner thighs lengthen. Should feel nice. Then begin to straighten your legs, find the other side. So just drop your opposite shoulder, peek over as you twist. Keep the lips sealed, maintain the nostril breathing. Lift up, twist to the left. A little quicker, lift up, twist to the right. Come through center, forward fold as you heel till your feet back neutral, hinge at your hips. Good. Lift halfway as you breathe in, forward fold as you breathe out. Coming to stand, bend the knees, rise, inhale, reach upward, exhale, hands to prayer, soften. Good. Take an inhale, reach up, and look up as well. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge forward, bend your knees. Take it all the way down. Lift halfway, hands to shins or the mat. High plank, plant your hands. Step it back. From this high plank, I want you to pull your elbows in by your side body as you lower all the way towards the floor. Take a traditional cobra, so uncurl your toes. Press them down, the tops of the feet down as you lift your chest and hold. So Clint's legs are super strong, they're rooted, his um, quads are firm, okay, kneecaps are off the floor, and this posture just allows your lower back to strengthen, hold, breathe, child's pose, bring it back, sit back, open your knees, stretch, big toes touch, send your bottom towards your heels, breathe. Downward facing dog. Shift yourself forward. Lift your hips up and back. Good. Gaze forward. Step, hop, float, top of your mat. Good. Bring your feet wide. Add those twists. So drop a shoulder. Pull your belly in. Find a sway. Right and left. Come through center. Heel to your feet in as you forward fold. Get an even forward lift, halfway, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Bend your knees, stand, inhale, look up, gaze up. Hands to prayer, exhale. Breathe in, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, hinge your chest. Lift halfway, inhale. High plank, plant your hands, step it back. Gently lower all the way to your bellies. And this time, interlace your fingers behind your back. Full locust pose. Whenever you're ready, your legs and chest are going to lift. Okay, so just cleanse bellies on the floor. His neck is neutral. It's crucial in these spine strengtheners that you don't look left and right. Maintain your gaze forward. Lift your legs. If it feels okay, draw your feet together. If that's excess tension, don't worry about it. Keep your feet spread. Hold for five. A little bit of a struggle for four, three, two, exhale to child's pose. Sit it back, press into your hands to lengthen out through your spine, reset your breath, feel what it feels like to draw the air in and out. A downward facing dog, curl the toes under, hips up and back, a couple resetting breaths. See how this down dog feels different? from your very first one. We've got one more round of that little sun A flow. Peek forward, step hop, top of the mat you go. Heel toe your feet wide, find these one more time, twist right and left, right and left. Once you feel good through center, heel toe your feet back neutral, knees forward, toes forward, then lift halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Stand, breathe in, reach out, up. Hands to prayer, exhale. Soften in the knees, inhale, lift. A little buoyancy as you reach. Exhale, forward fold. Gaze down, belly to thighs, bend the knees. Lift halfway, inhale. High plank to your belly, plant your hands like a plank of wood as one unit. You 
lower all the way down. Bend your knees. Grab the outsides of your feet. If your knees can come together, perfect. If not, just begin to rock forward onto your belly or rock back on towards your thighs. Good. You can grab one foot at a time if this isn't available. And begin to soften through your chest. Allow your shoulders to open. You can move between the two so you can kind of rock forward and back and just hold. Five. Where you're going to gently let go in four. Three. Two. Child's pose. Bring it back. Open the knees wide. Stretch it out. Last time here that I'm probably going to cue, so enjoy it. Rest. Downward facing dog. And once you get there, we'll begin to open up the hips. Peel your right leg up towards the sky, bend the knees stack through the hips. Good. So bend the knee and begin to create some big circles. Any intuitive movement that allows your hips to be a little bit more open and closed off. This guy right here can be done at home. You don't have to be warmed up to just keep the lubrication through your hips, right? It's one of the first things to go. Good. We're going to add a flip dog here. So you can stay put. You can take this up and back by flipping your dog, taking your right toes up and over. Are you going to do it? <laughs> Good. So gently, he's being really gentle. It's a slight back bend. Good, open through your chest. So you're here. Good, then we're gonna take a, um, <laughs> we know what it's called, a rock star. So take your right hand down, take your right knee towards your left tricep, shoot the leg out. We'll do this a few times, so we're just finding the first flow. You can look up on this first one, then you'll kind of dial in more on the second and third time. Side plank, left hand's your foundation, step your right foot to meet your left, Reach your right arm to the sky. Good. So bump your hips up, bump your hips up. There should be kind of like a um, rainbow shape in your hips. Getting out of this left shoulder, lift up and out. Good. Move into downward facing dog. Plant your hands, bend your knees, bring it back. Yogi squat, top of the mat, step, hop, float. Find your heels in, your toes out. You're a little bit lower in this one than that one we were in earlier. Find a little sway side to side. Good. Pull the belly in from this place. Reach your arms out and up. You can turn your toes a little bit more forward. Grab your left wrist, bend up and over to the right. Little side body stretch. Good, so yep, a wide base. Feel it out, it's just a gentle tug to pull the space around your hip a little bit more open. Switch sides, grab your right wrist, bend up and over to the left. You can kind of peek upward. Looking up in this hour is gonna be better than looking down, we give that enough. Good, come through center, keep your hands up, yogi squat, turn your toes out, get your butt towards your heels. Good, from here, take your hands down, chaturanga, you can step or hop back, Find bent arms as you lower, or you can bend your knees as you lower. You can keep your knees down, cobra or up dog, downward facing dog, bring it back, hips up and back. Side two, left leg high, then the knees stack the hips. Free movement in and around, out and around. Keep your strong base with your hands, point your finger and thumb attached. Keep the hip open, find flip dog if you would like. Gently drop your toes, find a back bend open through your heart. To rock star, left hand down, swivel around, kick your left leg out to the right, bump your hips upward. To side plank, right hand down, step your left foot to meet your right, left arm to the sky. Good. Find that shape. Get it up. Out of the shoulder. Down dog. Breathe. Hands to plant your left hand. Bring it back. To yogi squat. You can step or hop. Okay. 
kind of little sway side to side. Then reach the arms out and around. Come up to standing. Turn the toes a little bit more forward. Reach to the right. Grab your left wrist. Bend and stretch. Hold. Switch. Right wrist. Bend to the left. Through center, keep your arms up, toes out, yogi squat, the butt to heels, back down into it, pull the belly in, take a flow, hands down, step it back, or hop, chaturanga dog, dasana, lower halfway, hugging the elbows in, up dog to down dog, breathe, breathe, breathe. Alright, that's the flow, two more rounds and we'll take a break together, lift your right leg high, then the knee, stack the hips. Option to flip your dog, blow your toes up and over, heart shines, little quicker to that rock star, right knee towards your right chest up, you can hold here or shoot it out, find the little back bend, to side plank, left hand down, step it around, you can drop this bottom knee for a little extra support, down dog, right hand down, bring it back. Gaze forward, Malasana, top of the mat, yogi squat. Good, arms out and around, come up to stand, toes a little bit forward, bend to the right, reach. Through center, bend to the left, exhale. Center on your inhale, keep arms up, squat, toes out, butt to heels. Take a flow, hands down, step it back, chaturanga. If you're hopping back, hop with bent elbows as you flow. Good, big. Left side, match it up. Left leg high, and the knee stack the hips. Flip your dog. Flip it back, rock star. Side plank, right hand down, swivel. Maybe drop your bottom knee in this round. Down dog, get square. Bend your knees, chest towards your thighs. Gaze forward, top of the mat, yogi squat. Good, arms out and up, come up to stand. Side body bend to the right, up and out. Inhale, through center. Exhale, side two. Inhale, up, stay up, butt to heels, toes out, bend your knees. Hands down to flow, step or hop, chaturanga. You dish this next round. Okay, you allow your heart rate to stay elevated. One more time through, right leg high, and then you stack the hips. Option to hover this foot and don't let it touch. So when you're flip dog, just let it hover. Good, then flip back around using your core. Shoot it to the left. Maybe it hovers or maybe it drops as from the on. Good, side plank. Any variation, if you're at home, you can lift the top leg, you can find tree pose, whatever. Down dog, exhale, breathe, hand down, bend the, bend the back. Knees forward, top of the mat, you go. Yogi squats, arms out and up, lift, bend to the right, stretch. Inhale, exhale to the right. Arms up, squat, toes out. Hands down and as you're ready, the vinyasa flow. This is just a resetting thing we do in flow and vinyasa classes between sides. Last time here, left leg up. Bend the knee, maybe it hovers in your flip dog as a challenge. Good, maybe it hovers as you take it into the rock star, shooting it out. Good, babe, flip, side plank. Maybe your top leg lifts. Breathe through your nose. Down dog. Bring it back. Stretch. Reset. Let the head fall. Yogi squat. Top of the mat. Here we go. Good. Arms out and up. Breathe in. Rise. Take it to the right. Inhale through center. To the left. Through center. Exhale, butt to heels, toes turn out. Inhale here. Next, exhale, vinyasa through, knee and down dog. 
Good. Stay with me. Step your right foot forward. Pivot to the left, wide-legged straddle. This is going to be your rest. Okay? Bump your head. Let your head fall. If you want child's pose, go for that. If you want something else, go for that. <clears throat> Breathe. Catch your breath. Good. Come into step or hop forward. 
Then come to standing. We're just going to take some squats. So you're just going to take your hands to heart center, press your palms back. So butt to heels, lift. Okay, nice and easy, as low as you want to go. Okay, just keep the body moving. Get the glutes engaged. And when we sit so much, the back line of our body just doesn't get that much engagement. As you find these squats, pull the belly in. Good. Try not to press your hips super far forward. Just keep them nice and even at the top. Good. Engage. Lift. Last two. Last one. Down dog. Just plant your hands. Forget the flow. Just step it back. Lift your right leg. Switching it up. Step it through high crescent lunge. Good. We're just going to take a little bit different flow. So on the exhale, hug your elbows in. Bend your back knee towards the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, squeeze them in. Lower the back knee. Two more lifts. Exhale. One more up. And in. Reach up. Chaturanga. Hands down. Flow. Exhale. If you want it. Side two. Left leg up. Same thing. Step it through high crescent lunge. Once you're there, hug the elbows in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Two more. Exhale, vinyasa, hands down. Step it back, flow. Good. Step or hop forward. Come back into more squats. Okay? Toes out, heels in a little bit. Just flush it out, okay? Back and up. As low as you want to go. The more you connect with the floor, the more you press through your feet, the more your hamstrings will engage. It's hard to tap into the hamstrings. Okay? Press into the floor. Connect. Keep the lips sealed. Breathe through your nose. Yeah, Emily, I'm doing these squats for you, by the way. Everybody wants a butt like Emily. Last three. Last two. Last one. Down dog. Just plant your hands. Step it back. We don't have a whole lot of time. We're going to move through a more lengthier flow to close things out. Right leg up. Step it through. High crescent lunge to start. You've been here before. Pivot warrior two. Tack your back heel down. Reach through your fingers and pause. Good. So again, some buoyancy. Bend into it. Come out of it. Bend into it. Okay, hands can come to your hips. Okay, you can keep them long. Just begin to straighten out the front leg at a triangle. Right hand down, left arm to the sky. <laughs> Good. Once breathing hard, you can take your hand towards the block. Okay, if you're super bendy, it can come towards the floor. Good. At home, you're going to find a little crunch on this side. So a little side body crunch makes the right side elongate a little bit more. Good. Monkey, back of the mat. So from your triangle, take your hands to heart center, pivot into your left knee, right toes towards the sky. Hands can come down for support. Good. Right toes are flexed upward. Look, or excuse me, standing splits, top of the mat. Shift into it. Pick up your back leg, square your hips. You can stay here. You can add some Shiva squats. Pulling the knee in and out. In and out. Okay? Or just hanging out is a good place to be. Right, open up half moon. So keep your right hand to the block of the floor as you reach your left arm to the sky. Good. Maintain your grounding toes directly forward with your knee. Maintain a slight bend in that right knee. Good. Standing splits, chaturanga. Next exhale, step it back, flow. Reset through your body, vinyasa. Breathe. Think about what you just did. We're going to do that on side two. Left leg lifts. High crescent lunge to start. Step it through, arms up. Hold warrior two, open. 
So you're in it and you're out of it, okay? Feel it out, let your hips open up in this first one. Get familiar with the pose. And then just straighten out your front leg, trikonasana, hold and breathe. Left hand down, right arm to the sky. It can hover, okay? You can use a block behind your leg. This behind your leg just allows your chest to be a little bit more open. A little side body crunch on this right side is going to elongate the bottom. Good. Clench shoulders are pulling apart, reaching in opposite directions. Shoulders are soft. Monkey into your back knee. So come back into it. Lift your left toes towards the sky. Standing splits, top of the mat. Step into your left foot. Square your hips, soften and fold. And maybe you find some Shiva squats in and out. Chambering that knee and then expanding. Chamber in, expand. But whenever you feel even, open up into that half moon. Left hand down, pry open the right side. These left toes want to wiggle. Okay? Keep them stuck in mud, straight forward. Then wherever the hip goes is perfect. Doesn't have to be super big. Square the hips to chaturanga. Bring it back. Exhale, flow through. Long exhale. Good. We've got that flow twice more. Okay, and then we're gonna slow things down. Right leg up a little quicker. Step it through, high crescent lunge. Warrior two, exhale. Straighten the leg, triangle, bend and reach. Monkey back in the mat, bend into it. Standing splits, top of the mat. Come forward, shift. Squat a couple times, maybe kick up. Maybe you plant your hands and just try Half moon, left leg opens up. Chaturanga, left hand down, step it back, flow, then yasa. Breathe, 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 left side, left leg up. Step through high crescent, inhale, rise. Warrior two is your exhale. Straighten your left leg, trikonasana. Back of the mat, monkey squat. Standing splits, top of the mat. Square the hips, hold. Maybe plant your hands, kick up. Half moon, open. Step it back to vinyasa, plant your hands, bring it back, flow. Knee and down dog. Two breaths. Exhale, maybe you exhale through your mouth to reset. Good, big one more. Inhale. Exhale, good. Right leg high. Last time through. Bring it forward. High crescent. Warrior two. Straighten it out. Triangle. Monkey, bring it back. Standing splits. Bring it forward. Hold, hop, squat. Half moon, open up. Step it back and flow, spread the hips, bring it back. Move through me and down dog. Left side, left leg up. High crescent lunge, bring it through, arms high. Warrior two, pivot open. Straighten the leg, triangle, open through the chest, gaze up. Bring it to the back, monkey. Standing splits, last time here, last time to kick up. And you just have to get an inch off the floor. Okay, maybe you shift the weight a lot. Half moon. Vinyasa, hand down, bring it back, slow, slow. Go ahead, drop your knees, child's pose, rest. Catch your breath before we add in some back bends. Go ahead and bring it 
into your back, swing your legs around. So we'll find the bridge. So plant your feet hips distance, lift your hips. Good. So hands can come underneath your sacrum. You can interlace your fingers. This posture is great, okay? At the end of your practice, at the beginning of your practice, while your kids are outside, commercial break, catch this pose. Quads are elongating forward, so stretch your kneecaps forward. Just begin to bridge through your hips. A happy baby. Lower your hips, grab for the outsides of your feet. Elbows to the inside, just find a sway side to side. Good. So you're in the perfect place to take figure four. You can cross your right ankle over your left. Okay, if you want to move into right side pigeon, go for it. Otherwise, wrap for your left. Hamstring. Okay, begin to flex through that top foot. Maybe you find a little rock side to side. Other side, left ankle crosses over. Find your stretch in your hips as you grab for your right hamstring. Flex through your top toes, okay? So those left toes are flexed, protecting your knee. Find a little sway side to side. Once you feel it, you can come out of this side. Hug both knees in towards your chest. For when you're moving pose, grab, keep a hold of your right shin. Let your left leg go forward. Good. Find a squeeze, a compression. So now relax through both legs. Just find a generous pull in. Squeeze. Good. Take a twist. Take your right knee all the way across your body. Pick up over your right shoulder. Good. We haven't found a lot of twists today, so really maximize it by drawing the air in and out. Exhale, long, long, long. Good. And switch. Bring it back to center, other side. Start by pulling your left shin in towards your body. Relax through both feet so you can find a tight squeeze. Knee draws towards the left shoulder. And twist it out. Knee falls all the way across. Go over your left shoulder. Final supine twist. The knee can touch the floor. The shoulder can touch the floor. Both can hover either way. Every exhale, draw that belly in, wing it out last time. All right, Shavasana, final resting pose. Okay, just as important, if not more important than any of the postures previous, is complete rest. Okay, stillness between the ears. Softness in the jaw, the neck. Uh, palms face the sky to just close in that open place. And you're just resting, okay? Being okay with thoughts coming up, okay? But just consciously letting them pass. Thoughts come up, you just let them pass. Okay, maybe you close with that four, seven, eight breathing like you started with. Maybe in this crucial time in history, you remind yourself that you are safe. Repeating those words, just, I am safe in this time. My family is safe. My kids are safe. 
Just repeating the word safe. I'll become silent. Got a little bit left to just rest. Consciously come back and find a way over your fingertips, your toes to kind of bring some life back. And whenever you're ready, you'll take a full body reach, reaching your arms back as your toes reach forward, taking up space. And then pull your knees in towards your chest. And a one final self love squeeze. And then we lower the knees to the right or left side, using our arm as a pillow and in your comfortable fetal place. You don't get a lot of these in-between moments of stillness, of conscious, intentional movement. So seal in your practice, whatever you got from this last 50 or so minutes, seal it in. Recognize the place, the posture where your heart is at and how much control you have over your body, hopefully feeling better than when you started. And press up to a comfortable Sukhasana, easy sitting pose. I like to close with two cleansing breaths, just our biggest breaths, never taking the breath for granted, but just kind of maximizing it. So take a full body inhale, a big body exhale. One more, breathe in, biggest breath. Sigh it out, exhale, let it go. Arms out and up, reach. Palms press, bring it down into your heart space. The light of me honors each one of you. Thank you for connecting. Share this with someone. And never let anybody steal your peace. And always remember you are enough. Namaste.